Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwis and this is our 29th video in Python GUI development with PySite 2. So in this video we're going to talk about Q graphics scene and also Q graphic view. Now if you see documentation, the official documentation of uh, Qt for Python, so also we can call it PySite 2, which is the official release of uh, Qt company for Python programming language. You can see that the QGraphics scene class provides a surface for managing a large number of 2D graphical items. Now, if you see more, uh, the class serves as a container for QGraphics items. It's used together with QGraphic view. Now, for visualizing graphical items. Now, you can see that we cannot use a lawn uh, Q graphic scene. We need to use Q graphic scene with Q graphic view because Q graphic scene has no visual appearance uh, uh, and uh, it's it only manages the items. Uh, so uh, you need to create a Q graphic view widget uh, for visualizing of the scene or scene items. Uh, so now uh, you can see in here in the note. It's telling that Q graphics scene has no visual appearance of its own. It only manages the items. You need to create a Q graphic view widget to visualize the scene. So now you can add different items in a Q graphic scene. For example, you can uh, use that item, or you can use the item like uh, uh, add ellipse, add line, add path, add text map, polygon, React text. So. And for visualizing of these items, you need to create QGraphic view. So now let's just do this practically. And I've already created my window code. So it's just a simple, uh, some, I have imported Q, QT from Qt widgets, Q application, Q main window. And uh, in here I have my class uh, window that extends from Q main window. And this is our window title and we have our geometry so it's the x and y position and also at the width and height of the window and uh, now let's create our uh, q graphic view and q graphic scene so the first thing i need i'm going to just create a method in here i'm going to just call it create ui uh, so the first thing we need we need to just create a scene so uh, uh, for this we need to import scene it's related to qt widgets uh, you can just uh, import q graphic scene and now let me just create the object of q graphic scene in here and also i'm going to just for the parent i'm going to just give itself uh, now we are going to just create some brushes uh, till now we haven't talked about the brushes but i will make a separate video for that uh, because, because it's a large topic but we're going to just create some brushes with colors for our because we want to add some items to the scene uh, by this reason I, I want to colorize the items now I'm going to just create a green brush uh, Q brush we need to import Q brush and also we need to import Q pen uh, so Q brush Sorry, it's related to PyQt5, a uh, PySite2, sorry. Dot uh, Qt GUI import Q brush. Also, we need to import Q pen. And from PySite2 dot uh, Qt core import Qt. <coughs> So these are our imports that uh, we are going to use from PySite 2 and uh, now we need to just create Q brush in here. Uh, it's QT. We need to just give the color. I'm going to just use green uh, for the first one and this is blue brush. Uh, Q brush uh, QT dot blue and also let me just create a black pen q pen and qt dot black and let me just set uh, the width for the pen so set width and i'm going to just give it five uh, now we need to just add some items to our this uh, q graphic scene uh, 
and the first uh, uh, we have mentioned it uh, there's no visual uh, appearance for this scene uh, it's just used for adding items and for visualizing of that we are going to use Q graphic view uh, now let me just create uh, I'm going to just create an ellipse in here and uh, scene dot at ellipse and we need to just give uh, the x and y position and also the width and height and uh, you can give the pen color I'm going to just use black pen uh, so it's the border I think it's the border of the ellipse uh, and after that we are going to just uh, use the color uh, what color we want to use uh, for the ellipse and I'm going to just use a green brush and uh, after this we need to just uh, uh, right now there's nothing if we run our uh, this program let me just run this okay you can see that there's nothing even we don't have our scene in here now uh, we need to create a view so for this we need to just import the view uh, I'm going to just say Q graphic view and uh, because I will use this Q graphic view let me just say self dot uh, view Q graphic view and now in the Q graphic view I'm going to add my scene uh, you can set the geometry for your this view so self dot view dot set geometry and I'm going to just give it 0 0 and 640 and 440 like this now let me just call this so I haven't called it till now I need to just call this create self dot create UI and now I'm going to run this okay so you can see uh, you can see that this is our Q graphic view uh, see a uh, view and uh, we have our scene uh, and a Q graphic view and you can see that we have added an ellipse in here and this is the pen that we have given and the weight is 5 so let me just add uh, another item so this time I'm going to just add a rect scene dot add rect and you need to give the x and y positions 200 200 so so uh, for the lips this is not the width and height uh, I think let me just uh, see scene dot add ellipse uh, oh yeah it's a solve we have our parent x and y uh, we have w width height and also pen and brush for the add ellipse so the same we have for add rect so you can see scene dot add rect uh, we have x and y and also or also we have uh, uh, width and height okay now let me just run this again uh, you can see uh, that we have our rectangle but we need to just colorize this and I'm going to just give black pen for this and for the brush I'm going to use blue brush and now let me just run this uh, you can see that we have our rectangle in here now uh, there are some flags that you can use uh, for with uh, uh, for what your items and the uh, Q graphic scene uh, for example you can add a movable item uh, let me just show you uh, 
Okay, we can just say ellipse dot set flag, and we can just use Q graphic item, and we need to import that. Q graphic item. Okay, now in here we are going to just use Q graphic item dot item is movable so item is uh, movable and now let me just run this okay now for the lips you can see that I can move a lips like this and let's just do this for our rectangle let me just copy this and paste it in here and change this to rect and let me just run this now you can see we can move rectangle now let's just add text also you can use text uh, for this uh, you can just see in here uh, scene dot add text and you can just say your text you can write your text uh, code loop.org uh, you can get the source codes from my blog uh, you can just open code loop.org and you can get all the source codes from my blog and now let me just run this okay you can see that we have uh, code loop.org in here uh, you can set uh, font color uh, for this we need to just import Q font from PySite 2 and we are going to just add our Q font you need to give the type of the phone uh, and also the size of the font uh, and now we can see uh, we have code loop.org uh, so now let's just do uh, some more with our this Q graphic view uh, let's just do uh, rotate do rotation on our Q graphic view uh, so for this I'm going to just create two buttons and I need to import Q push button and uh, let me just create the buttons in here at the top so button Q push button and for this I'm going to just say rotate plus and uh, let me just give it rotate minus uh, because I haven't used a layout so when you're developing GUI application it's a good idea to use layouts for example horizontal box layout vertical box layout grid layout there are different layouts in PySite 2 uh, you can just check uh, the videos for that but because I haven't used layout management I'm going to just uh, uh, give the relative position for my buttons so you can uh, set the geometry uh, so 200 and 450 so the X and Y position you can give width and height for the button like this and I'm going to just copy this and paste it once more this is button 2 button 2 and rotate plus uh, I'm going to just change this to 320 so the exposition and now we need to just create uh, two methods for this uh, let me just diff rotate uh, minus and I'm going to just rotate the view so self dot view dot uh, rotate uh, you can just give it for example minus 14 and diff rotate plus Uh, self dot 
dot view dot rotate and let me just give it 14 like this now we need to connect this with our buttons dot clicked so cell dot rotate minus and we need to just do the same for the rotate plus in here button 2 and rotate plus okay now let me just run this and I'm waiting okay now you can see we have two buttons and now if I rotate minus you can see and uh, rotate plus and you can do like this so this was our Q graphic view and Q graphic scene uh, if you're on the source code you can just check uh, my blog code loop.org I have added all source codes in there and uh, please subscribe my channel like the video and also share the video